Hey, 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 Capricorn. This is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your Wednesday, April 1st to the 2nd. Intuitive Love Tarot read. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, but hopefully it will with you today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below if you would before you leave. I do appreciate it, and thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. All right, Capricorn, if you're interested in a personal reading with me, the information is in the description box below. All right, so what's going on for Capricorn from April 1st to the 2nd? I hope you guys are staying safe out there. You notice, though, how many people are actually outside, huh? Okay. Off their technological devices. Okay. So let's see what's going on with Cappies. Ooh, the Wheel of Fortune here, Capricorn. I'm going to get a, a message from uh, Spirit here. Before we begin, the Queen of Wands, Death, the Knight of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, of course, and what is this one? Ooh, the Ace of Swords. Let me see what's on the bottom of the deck. The Page of Cups. Okay, let me get this message before we begin, Cappies. Okay, they're saying, uh, I don't know why they're saying this, but I have to give you this message. They're saying, Terri terrifying events will not phase you. Now that could be sort of like a, uh, I guess a metaphor. No, it's not a metaphor. Okay. So I don't know if there are events taking place that are around you, this, this could have already happened. They're saying it's, it's not going to phase you. It's almost like when somebody continuously has these tower moments over and over and over again, you know, as the tower comes the next time, it's like, oh, well, been there, done that, you know, just another day. So that's, that's kind of the type of feeling that I'm getting. Anything else? Yeah. Staying calm amongst the chaos. But that's what I feel like you're doing with that first statement, right? Powerful statement right now, too. I got to say, I got to say. <clears throat> okay, so let's see what's going on for Cappies. Some of you are going through a major transformation or have just gone through a major transformation you've gained truth and clarity through this transformation and I feel like it's it's like I, I just heard all on deck it's like you're you're if you feel like you've had a calling if you feel like you've got to get on your fake train so to speak right um, this is what you're gaining clarity on and this is what you will be doing Tens, Wheel of Fortune is the number 10. Tens are all about ending one cycle and beginning to begin another, right? And the Queen of Wands talks about having passion. She is the mistress of the deck. Feminine energy, but very passionate, very creative, very sexual. <clears throat> whatever this passion is, whatever this clarity is, you are taking your time in getting there. They're saying you may encounter obstacles along your way, but I don't think it's going to phase you, Capricorn. I don't think so. Especially with that first statement, Four of Swords. Yeah, I feel like you've done a lot of introspection, Capricorn. Definitely. So tell me about this Wheel of Fortune. Six of Cups. This is 
past life soulmate energy. You could be coming across a past life soulmate if they're not already in your life. This is a very sweet energy, Capricorn. This is sweet love. This is appreciative love. This is innocent love. That's what this is. Six. And it's also balance. It's very... I always get such a soft type of love with this card so if it's not somebody new then it's somebody from your past but it could for some of you be somebody new um just past life right that you don't know from this life okay so let me get another card on this see if there's any more info tell me about the six of cups for capricorn please tell me about the six of cups Ah, page of swords. Yeah, for some of you, this is like a childhood sweetheart or somebody that you've known from childhood that you've been spying on or they've been spying on you. That's for some of you. Strength. Ooh, whoever's approaching the other, I'm feeling is going to need the strength in doing so. It could have... it. You know, it could have been years since you've talked to this individual. Okay. So tell me about this death card. This is the card of Scorpio rising from the ashes. Yeah. Eight of pentacles. I told you, you came out of this period of transformation, knowing what you're passionate about, knowing what you need to work on. So tell me about this clarity. Okay. Calm amongst the chaos. I feel like a lot of you could be surrounded by chaos, but you found clarity and, um, I think you have a lot of clarity and a lot of truth that has, has come your way and has been the result of this transformation for sure. Now tell me about this queen of wands energy. Tell me about this queen of wands. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, whatever you're doing, keep keep going forward because this is your abundance. This is part of your abundance. This is at least the path to abundance, the path to happiness, Capricorn. Definitely. Earth energy. Clarifying the Knight of Pentacles is the Page of Wands and the Three of Cups. So for some of you, you will be sending or receiving a message this has to do with the six of cups character um, whoever that is for you because this is a reunion card clarify the three of cups yeah the chariot this person could be at a distance from you with the chariot card <clears throat> you also could have a spiritual connection with this individual tell me about the chariot i'm going to clarify this a little they could be a cancer. Hmm. Four of Pentacles. Some of you are holding back and doing this, or they are. Three of Pentacles. This could be a part of a third party situation with the three here. But this could also be somebody that you're working with. The world card. There we have distance again. It's definitely somebody at a distance. <clears throat> Could be a fixed sign, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, or Aquarius. Whoops, whoops. Wait a minute. <sighs> Clarifying the Four of Swords is the Two of Swords. And I'll take this one and the King of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like before this transformation, you may have been at a standstill, at a very indecisive place. Okay, you are unable to make a decision. It could have been surrounding the heart because as you see here, they're blocking off their heart chakra, right? So definitely had the clarity when you came out of this as to what you wanted to do. Now, this could have been a choice between two because we do have two threes here. I'll clarify this once more. And with the King of Pentacles here, it could have been a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, one of them. So tell me about these um, two threes. Is this three people, third party, or what is it? What is it? What is it? Can you clarify? 
Seven of Pentacles. Yeah. <clears throat> I feel like you had to make a decision, Capricorn, and you had to decide where you want to invest your time and energy um, and possibly money into. Okay. And you have this clarity. You have this clarity. So what is your advice for Capricorn? What is your advice for Capricorn spirit? What's going on for Cappies? What's your advice? Oh, I didn't even see this. The King of Swords is here. <clears throat> That's Libra energy. So you've got the King of Swords and the King of Pentacles. Whoever this is could be an emperor or an empress. It's just masculine energy, okay? Hmm. Seven of Wands. There's something you're fighting for. It could be for this person. It could be, there's the Queen of Swords. Now we have a pair, King and Queen of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Specifically, this is Gemini and Libra for me as a reader. And that talks about cutting things out of your life that no longer serve you, but being able to make balanced and decisive decisions regarding business, okay? So I feel you're on a way, your way to a nice balance, Capricorn. I feel that you have clarity of mind or you will have when you come out of this transformational time. Okay. You'll know exactly what you want to do and you'll have a sense of when, where, how you're going to move forward. All right, Capricorn. Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. Four of cups. Don't miss opportunities that the universe is handing you. Okay. All right, Cappies. I hope this resonated with you please drop a like below share and subscribe if you already haven't if you're interested in a personal reading with me the information is in the description box below you have a good one cappies and i will talk to you guys tomorrow